Every person has fallen short and has sinned at some point in their life. The Bible makes it clear that for the wages of sin is death. And as a result, we had a legal debt of sin that would only result in death, separation from God. And Satan, who is known as the accuser, would constantly use this against people. He would use sin, sickness, and the fear of death to wage war against people. Before Jesus came, we were dead in our sins, and Satan had authority over us. He had power over death. However, this changed when Jesus came and gave up his life on the cross. Hebrews 2, 14-15 says, So that by his death, Jesus might break the power of him who holds the power of death, that is, the devil, and free those who all their lives were held in slavery by their fear of death. Jesus has freed us from the fear of death. If we put our trust in Jesus and repent, he takes our sin for us and gives us eternal life as a result. The devil no longer has any hold on us. Colossians 2.15 says, And having disarmed the powers and authorities, Jesus made a public spectacle of them, triumphing over them by the cross. When Jesus went to the cross, he triumphed over Satan and every evil principality and demon. It specifically says he disarmed them. What were they disarmed of? Holding our sin against us, accusing us with rightful cause, and leading us to spiritual death, keeping us in our sinful nature. They were disarmed of that weapon, and every weapon, as we have been forgiven and are the righteousness of God in Christ. What other weapons were they disarmed of? Sickness and disease, fear and anxiety. They were disarmed of it all, for Jesus healed us, made us whole, and gave us a spirit of power, love, and a sound mind. Jesus has given us authority over all the power of the enemy, according to Luke 10, 19. We have been given authority over all the power of the enemy. That means we should no longer be harmed by anything in his kingdom. And it also says he made a public spectacle of them, like how ancient warriors would publicly humiliate their enemies or publicly humiliate a fallen king. Jesus publicly humiliated Satan and his demons in front of all. 1 Corinthians 15.55 says, Where, O death, is your victory? Where, O death, is your sting? There is no longer any sting in death. Jesus has freed us from it, as he raised from the dead and is the first among many. Revelation 1.18 says, I am the living one. I was dead. And now look. I am alive forever and ever, and I hold the keys of death and Hades. We just saw that Satan used to hold the power of death, but no longer. Now Jesus holds the keys of death and the grave. If we believe in Jesus and become born again, we are safe in his protection. The one who holds the keys loves you and died for you. There is nothing for us to fear, and there is nothing that has any legal right to harm you. Glory to God.